So this next slide is the uh, esophagus stomach junction or gastroesophageal junction. And you're just gonna wanna look for, for landmarks, for things that, you, that can only be where, where this is. Um, and this type of tissue right here, this epithelial tissue, this is stratified squamous epithelium. So we know that stratified squamous epithelium is located in your esophagus. So this has to be the inside you know, wall or whatever layer of the, of the esophagus. So food would be right here, all right? And so now if I want to follow that down, this slide promises me that it's got a stomach on it. So I'm just going to follow this stratified squamous epithelium along until I run into something that isn't stratified squamous epithelium. And you can see it's starting to change pretty dramatically uh, by this point. We're, we're now solidly into the stomach. You can see that these, uh, the surface looks considerably different. Uh, and when we zoom in, you'll get to see that these are simple columnar epithelial cells. You might even be able to see it there, but maybe not. So off screen up was stratified squamous epithelium connected to that thing down here. And if you get a slide for this, if you get an image of a slide on a, on a test of this, I'll make sure to see that you can see the, uh, the esophagus portion and the uh, stomach portion. It's not gonna look, all slides are different. So it won't look exactly like this one. And it's not gonna always, you know, it's not gonna always be open space on the right. Just look for these particular landmarks so let's zoom in on, we're already on medium power, but let's go to high power. And crank up the lumens here. Uh, so these guys don't really look that columnar, unfortunately. They look sort of cuboidal, which is uh, unfortunate for my, uh, my demonstration. But I assure you that they're columnar. Um, these guys down here look more like it. I don't know if that's bright enough. Can you make out those cells, Brian? All right. So, Brian Aguirre on the camera, by the way. Thank you, Brian. You're, I couldn't do this without you, literally. So, uh, these are the epithelial cells here. So, these are the columnar cells. Now, they may look squashed over here, and they look kind of cuboidal. But this is the digestive system. We're not going to have any cuboidal cells lining any uh, lumens. So columnar epithelium. Let's zoom back up to that. I'm going to kind of fast forward up to that. Let me go back to the lower power. Sorry, it might be bleached out for a minute. I'm going to zoom back up to the uh, stratified squamous epithelium. Right there. Zoom in on it. Crank it up. And it's kind of smooshed. This one looks kind of smooshed like it got kind of smeared a little bit in the pres in the uh, preservation of it, but this is many layers of cells uh, that are an epithelial surface because of this free space over here. And they get kind of blurred here, but uh, this whole thing is, is epithelium here in this case. Um, very different looking than the simple cuboidal, I'm uh, sorry, I said it myself, simple columnar of the stomach. Now, one other thing, last thing I wanted to point out on this slide is that you've got those muscle layers. You can see this is the esophagus. There's the submucosa in here. Uh, and then you've got the muscle layer. So this is a probably a circular muscle layer. These are the fibers of muscle coming toward you out of the screen. So you're only seeing these little circular, these little you know geometric shapes here because the fibers are running that way. I'm not sure if I can find this stuff off screen here, but uh, I, I see a different type of different layer. So this is going to be the longitudinal layer. It doesn't look a whole lot different, but it is significantly enough different to, to make a difference. And if you really want to know about the, the, the tunics in this, this is the adventitia out here. Adventitia, muscularis, submucosa, mucosa. Cut.